Hello everybody, I'm excited to bring you this video. I've been really thinking a lot about how real it is that we are surrounded by both good and evil spirits and based upon our choices and the desires of our hearts and our actions, we invite more good or evil spirits to be around us. And even good actions may cause evil powers to grow to counteract the greater good. We'll look into this one experience that was had by Wilford Woodruff while he was on his mission. We, Wilford Woodruff and George Albert Smith, retired to rest in good season and I felt well in my mind and slept until twelve at night. I awoke and meditated upon the things of God until near three o'clock, and while forming a determination to warn the people in London and overcome the powers of darkness by the assistance of God, a person appeared unto me which I considered was the prince of darkness or the devil. He made war with me and attempted to take my life. He caught me by the throat and choked me nearly to death. He wounded me in my forehead. I also wounded him in a number of places in the head. As he was about to overcome me, I prayed to the Father in the name of Jesus for help. I then had power over him, and he left me, though much wounded. Three personage dressed in white came to me and prayed with me, and I was immediately healed, and they delivered me from all my troubles. Journal of Wilfred Woodruff Paul said in Ephesians 6, Put on the whole armor of God, that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. George Q. Cannon from the Journal of Discourses taught, this he says i have come to the conclusion that if our eyes were open to see the spirit world around us we should feel differently on this subject than we do we would not be so unguarded and careless and so indifferent whether we had the spirit and power of god with us or not but we would be continually watchful and prayerful to our heavenly father for his glory for his holy spirit and his holy angels to be around and about us, to strengthen us, overcome every evil influence. When I see young men indulging in drunkenness and in stealing, I come to the conclusion that they are led captive by the evil spirits around them. We call it the spirit of the evil one, but he has numerous agencies at work, even as the Lord has numerous agencies to assist him in bringing to pass the consummation of his great designs, the adversary has numerous agencies at his command, and he seeks to control and lead to destruction the inhabitants of this earth or of the earth who will be subject to them. If we could see with our spiritual senses as we now see with our natural senses, we should be greatly shocked at the sight of the influences that prompt us to disobey the counsels of God or the Spirit of the Lord in our hearts, but we cannot see them, for they are spiritually discerned, and he who discerns the most is the most fully impressed by the Spirit of God. He who does not discern has not profited by the instructions given to him and yields to those evil influences in an unguarded moment, and is taken captive in his blindness. He who is imbued with the Spirit of God is sensibly aware when the evil power approaches, but he does not welcome it, 
to his bosom. He resists it with all the might and strength that God has given unto him, and he obtains power over it, and it no more troubles him. If it does, it influences, its influence is more weakened than previously. I hope that this video shed some light that we are in a war not with our brothers and sisters around us, but with our spirit brothers and sisters and those spirits that are in a wicked state that are warring against us, that are tempting us, trying to provoke us to do evil. And how important it is that we become aware of who our real enemy is and that we seek to build up our brothers and sisters while we recognize that we are fighting this unseen war, this battle that mostly occurs in the chambers of our minds and that we need to as president nelson has asked us he said to pray always um in his talk increasing spiritual momentum or main i think that's the title of it it's the most recent or one of the most recent general conference talks in april that we have to pray always that Satan will not overpower us. And he talks about Moses' experience, how Moses was able to detect Satan right after he talked to God because he had talked to God. And to have the spirit with us, like George Q. Cannon states here, is one of the most empowering ways to discern that I am being influenced by evil spirits and I need to seek a new course and I need to pray to be able to overcome these influences. I hope that this has blessed you. I know that our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, love each and every one of us. That they put us in this place to be tested and to live by every word that proceedeth forth from their mouths. And I hope that we will seek to do that. And I know that He will help us every step of the way if we are committed and it is the largest desire of our hearts i know he will give us the aid we need we fight a battle so big that we do not even know i feel most times but with his help we can win because he has already won he has conquered sin and death and he will conquer it for you as you trust in him and keep his commandments keep your covenants and continue on that covenant path. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.